Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 1, Lesson 12. What is surface area? The objective says, I know what the surface area of a three-dimensional object means. What is the surface area of this rectangular prism? Well, I know that by definition, so if I look at the definition, the surface, the surface area of a polyhedron is the number of square units that cover all the faces of the polyhedron without any gaps or overlaps. So as if I were to paint the outside of this polyhedron, I would paint every single part of all the faces without leaving any gaps that don't have paint and without globbing up paint in a lot of areas. So I'm careful to co only cover it with exactly one layer without gaps or overlaps. Another way that you can think about surface area is by uh, understanding that the surface area is the combined total area of all the faces. So you can find the area of each face and then combine all those areas together to get the surface area. So it looks like there's only three faces for this rectangular prism, but we know there's that front face, which means there's also a back face. We have that right side, which means there's a left side that matches it. We have the top that we can see, but there's also a bottom that matches it. So we actually have six faces total that we need to account for. So um, my front is four by four, which means my back is also four by four. So the front uh, is made up of 16 square faces, and the back is made up of 16 square faces. The left side is 4 by 2, so there's 8 squares on that left side that we can see. And then on the, uh, excuse me, that's the right side. On the left side, or what we would see in the back, it would also be 8 square faces. Our top is also 4 by 2, and our bottom would also be 4 by 2. So again, when we are looking at that combined area, we're going to add up the area of all those faces. So I have my front and my back, which are 16 square units, my left and my right, which are 8 each, and my top and my bottom, which are 8 each. So I can combine that in a variety of ways. So I have two 16s. 16 times 2 is 32. I've got four 8s. 8 times 4 is also 32. So 32 plus 32 tells me that there are 64 square units that make up the face faces of this rectangular prism. The objective says, I know what the surface area of a three-dimensional object means. So it's finding the area of all the faces as if we were going to cover it with paint or with wrapping paper or something else where we're trying to cover it up exactly without any space left, any gaps or even any overlaps where we cover it twice. Thanks for watching.